This is Surveyor 3. It was an unmanned probe sent to scope out potential landing sites. It arrived two and a half years before the first moon landing. On board was a camera, which the astronauts were instructed to bring home. We're ready to start getting a TV camera, okay? A big smile, okay. And when this camera was studied in great detail, there was found to be evidence of, of a living microorganism on the inside of a piece of foam on the interior of the camera. The scientists concluded that this microorganism had remained alive on the surface of the moon for approximately 30 months. But it was not thought to be an extraterrestrial life form, but rather a contaminant that got into the camera during the testing on Earth before the surveyor spacecraft was sent to the moon. It was a common microorganism, Streptococcus mitis. Somebody probably sneezed when they were assembling the camera before it went to the moon. That means that microbial life could conceivably survive in space and could conceivably be transferred from one place to another, which is the fundamental concept of panspermia. While protecting the planet takes up much of John Rommel's time, the rest of his working day is spent making sure we don't contaminate other planets. Any probe sent to Mars or Europa has to be spotless. There's a test before they can launch, and the planetary protection officer is responsible for providing that test. And we go down and we assay the spacecraft for the presence of microbes, and they get a passing grade or a failing grade. But you'd be able to cancel the mission? Yeah. I would have the authority to say stop. Uh, more likely, I would say clean it first, <laughs> then you can launch it. We have main engine start, zero, and liftoff of the Stardust spacecraft, returning a time capsule with the elements of the formation of our solar system. If the panspermia theory is to be proven one way or the other, it's vital not to contaminate other planets. We have solid motor jettison, all four solids came off. If we go to other moons, other worlds, etc., and take Earth contamination there, and then later go back and discover life and go, golly, life on Mars looks just like life from Florida. How about that? We're actually ruining the principal element that NASA focuses on is preserving the science.